Good morning, Atlanta communities, and welcome to Wake Up to Broker Up with Mark. Hope you're doing well. Today is episode number 20. Well, earlier this week, uh, the Georgia Association of Realtors Forums Committee sent out an email, and in that email, they had an exhibit uh, and a handout for uh, buyers in a seller's market, and then they also had some special steps to be used in a seller's market as well. And unfortunately, I think a lot of people miss that email. We've been getting a lot of questions as brokers about how to interpret special steps. And we, if you're representing a seller, it's been coming from the seller side where uh, somebody would receive an offer and say, what does this special step mean? Because it wasn't clear and it didn't make any sense. And same thing, we've been uh, tasked frequently with trying to help people draft special stipulations if they're representing a buyer in this market and trying to make sure that we covered all the bases such as if the appraisal comes in low or and they want to pay more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So one of the things that GARD did is the forms committee decided to send out this email, which is going to be attached as an attachment to the email that I'm going to send with today's broker up. And then in addition to that, they also have the special stipulations for the seller's market, which I'm gonna go over in just one second. And then they have the disclosure to buyers purchasing property in a seller's market. Buyer acknowledges that making an aggressive offer to purchase property involves taking greater risk. These include without limitation the following. If buyer purchases a property as is condition, Without having an inspection performed, there's a greater risk of buyer uh, buying a property with defects. If buyer is depositing long term earnest money, this money is at risk if the buyer breaches the contract or a dispute arises with the contract. If buyer contracts to purchase a property without a financing contingency, there is a greater risk of buyer being in breach of contract if buyer cannot obtain financing. If buyer buys a property sight unseen, buyer may not have good understanding of the size, nature, and condition of the property or the area around the property. If buyer offers to buy the property for an amount over the list price, the property may not appraise. If buyer deletes an appraisal contingency from the agreement, buyer may pay in excess of the appraised price for the property and have to pay cash for the difference between the appraised price of the property and the sales price. So anyway, GAR is trying to make it easier for us to do business in the marketplace. I hope you check all these out. If you have any questions, reach out to your broker. Have a great day. These are essential, see? See how I tied the shirt in there? These are essential. Have a great day. Bye-bye.